So this is your cooked eggplant. Puree. Puree, and you you boiled it. Uh huh. Strained it. Uh huh. And then ran it through the food processor. Okay, about how long did you boil it? Just tender. Okay. It's roughly about three to four minutes. Stick it, a fork in it. Yeah. Okay. In fact, don't even do it. Just you know, peel it your hands almost like the salt. Okay. Okay. And the best part about it, Judy, is take advantage of eight plants on sale. Yes. You don't need you don't need to have them all looking so pretty. Okay? You can have some brown ones in there. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna boil it anyway. And so what's this about bitterness in eggplants? The whole thing of salting and bitterness and all I've that. I've never had a problem. Really? You don't salt at all? No. Okay. All the way through. And the best part about it is once you puree it like we have here, uh-huh, you can freeze this. Oh, okay, you don't really? have to make eggplant dressing right away. You can oh. freeze this so you have that process oh, done. Oh, that's great. So then all you got to do is get it back out, thaw it, thaw it, add your trinity, et cetera. And begin with the recipe. That's awesome. I have the, and plus you can buy eggplants when they're in season. Absolutely. And, and, and stash it away. Freezer. Yeah. Eggplant. Okra. Bok shoe. You know, right on down the line, taking advantage of when things are on sale. That's a great idea. So now what are we going to do? We're going to go into the kitchen, and we're going to take the pureed eggplant, and we're going to make the seafood eggplant casserole. Oh, yum. Sauce ball. So now we're in the kitchen to make the eggplant casserole. This is not the finished dish, but it shows you how you can make it ahead of time and how simple it really is. The first thing we do is we start off with the trinity. This is onions, bell pepper, and celery already cooked down. Good. And to that we add some thyme, some basil, and the seasoning mix of cayenne, black, and white pepper. Not too much. But got to add some, and then a little salt. We let this saute together. We want all the seasonings and the herbs to open up. Okay, and how can you tell when they're opened up, Jeff? Roughly about three to four minutes. Okay, and you can smell that the, oh, the yeah. aroma comes up? Absolutely. Okay, and you saute those vegetables down in just a little bit of oil or butter? I like butter. You butter. I like okay. butter. Okay, got it. I think it just adds so much more flavor. Yeah, okay. Now, once this is done, let's move on to the next step. Okay. Which is taking our puree eggplant. And roughly, it's about two to one. Two to one eggplant or trinity? Eggplant. Eggplant. After all, it is, it is eggplant. It is eggplant dressing. We've been doing this recipe since 1984. This wow. recipe got us into the World's Fair. Oh my goodness. And this was something you've made all your life? All my life. Yeah. No, we're at a stopping stage here. Okay. If you're ready to serve, then what you do is you go ahead and saute the shrimp and the crab meat and you make the eggplant seafood casserole. At that point. At that point. If you're not ready to serve, let this come together and then cool it down and refrigerate. It can be made ahead of time. So you can, for Thanksgiving, when you're cooking a whole lot, you could make this two days ahead of time? Absolutely. Okay. Great. Okay, seafood eggplant right now. This is where the magic happens. Absolutely. Oh, and you've got the onions and the, is that onion and celery, uh, onion and parsley? Uh-huh. Uh, i got, got to cook it. I call it the blessing. Okay. That's a trinity and this is the blessing. <laughs> I've never heard it called that. That's a good one. I'm going to have to make this this year at Thanksgiving. It is that simple. Not. It's that simple. It's, it's all about processing the eggplant. Once you get that done... Uh-huh. And I love knowing that I don't have to worry about that whole draining and salting thing that I always... It's like a whole extra step I can just skip. See how it's not wet? Yeah. It's, okay? Now, yeah. if you put it into a casserole and bake it in the oven, the shrimp will give off so much more water. That's when you're going to need to add some breadcrumbs to, to tighten it up. Okay. So when I make this at home, I'm going to get it to this point, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the breadcrumbs and turn it into a casserole dish. Correct. 
And then I'm going to heat it just for like 20 minutes at 350. Sure. Yeah, just to taste, you know. Now, this is how we present it at the restaurant. All right. We take it and we place it into a little dish uh -huh. with fried eggplant that have been battered with homemade Italian bread crumbs. Okay. And so if I'm going to uh, bind it up at home and put it in a casserole dish, I would use seasoned Italian bread crumbs or non-seasoned? I like seasoned because I think yeah. it complements it. Okay. And then a little Parmesan cheese on top. Oh and my then, goodness. And then we can stick it in the brawler. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Julie. Look, it's perfect. Look at that. It's perfect. I had this the other day. Off the hook. Off. Like we say in New Orleans, laissez le bon temps rouler, chat. <laughs>